it's really interesting story courtesy of fox business um i think we've all kind of suffered the scourge when you go to mcdonald's and you want to order a mcflurry and for whatever reason the mcflurry machine is always broken in your uk for the most part whenever the mcflurry machine has been bro whenever i've tried to order mcflurry it's usually come during you know the after hours you know really late at night when i'm kind of coming back from a club somewhere and i want to get um you know some shitty food down my esophagus and usually i found that that's when those kind of you know machines aren't working and the common sort of urban myth around that time was that usually because it's late at night and they're kind of operating with a skeleton staff in mcdonald's maybe you know any time between like 12 a.m and 6 a.m there's not a lot of people they're working they want to make sure that they can you know be um, efficient somewhat they usually turn off stuff like the coffee machine and the mcfly machine in order to focus on just kind of you know making the burgers and making the fries which makes sense but that was what you'd always get told but this story courtesy of fox business maybe sheds a different light on the situation going on with the mcfly machines and maybe there's something more sinister at play so it says here yeah, mcdonald's ice cream machines company is served with a restraining order report a judge has awarded um, a temporary restraining order against Taylor Company, the company that makes McDonald's Corp ice cream machines, according to reports. The first reported by Vice's motherboard, the order was granted by Kitch Inc., a startup that made the diagnostic tools to help solve issues with the machines, filed a lawsuit against Taylor in May. Customers have complained, including on social media, that the machines known for making McFlurry's popular McFlurry dessert um, were often broken. Lawsuits alleged that Taylor had purposely designed a floor code that caused the machines to malfunction to profit from the machine repairs now where do you think you heard that before apple right apple supposedly were what well, it was alleged that apple would do that on purpose when it comes to the updates that's why they basically forced everybody to update because they'd purposely you know working some code or whatever it may be that would make your phone operate slower or whatever it may be so it would number one either push you to get to update your os or it would push you to then go and update your phone so you know all in all apple wins in that regard so now they're alleging that this company that makes these machines purposely you know worked in a error or a code um, error a coding error that would basically result in them having to send their repair guys out there all the time to fix them and you'd imagine every time they get called to repair the machine that's money that's kind of get take being taken out essentially out of that mcdonald's tail point if there's one thing we know about mcdonald's they don't like to give anybody many money so it continues it says additionally it claims that taylor had repeatedly and under uh, multiple aliases and email addresses tried to purchase kitchen solution device in order to learn trade secrets crazy the court documents that taylor's spokesperson eventually admitted that it was successful in obtaining one um taylor according to the documents had also begun to develop his own version of the kit system makes sense with help with mcdonald's franchises and defiant and defenders sorry um tyler gamble who kitch accused of working for taylor this is crazy some tennessee taylor told mcdonald's and mcdonald's told franchises that kitch machines were dangerous and that they could according to the end of april report in wide um cause serious human injury these guys are going crazy these guys did a really efficient job by frightening off effective job by frightening off all customers investors so we're hoping the public will support our case in the name of justice um right to repair and humanity says kitch co-founder jeremy o'sullivan told vice okay he's got to calm down um he says we still have some this uh, diehard customers sticking with us though um few in the comparison to what we once had before mcdonald's and taylor called our product dangerous so what are people when i say customers do they mean like other mcdonald's franchises or do they mean you know regular citizens are going to buy these mcfly machines and installing them in their home i'm sure someone's done that right i'm sure somebody like richie rich styles installed a mcflurry machine system whatever or maybe integrated into their fridge i'm sure someone's done it but that's insane it says the outlet reported that taylor had a just 24 hours to turn over his kit solution devices and not use copy or disclose otherwise make available in any information including formula pattern compilation program device method technique or process obtained by any of them the fox business reached out to both mcdonald's taylor but did not immediately receive a response so some real skullduggery going on with that machine which again makes sense because you know for all the theories that we had like i mentioned before the urban myth about you know they just close them because the staff are under what those locations might be under staff it doesn't make any sense because if there's one thing that would probably i would assume generate a high profit per cup would be mcflurries right just imagine what the cost value is for you know whatever the ice cream is that they use 
um, the toppings that they use, the syrup, it's just in the pennies. And they sell these things for what, a pound, a pound 50, uh, maybe 99 for the little quarter cup. It's you're still making money hand over fist. So these places need to be selling them at the, the McFlurries. They're not in a position where they can afford to not sell them. So um, I guess that theory can get really dismissed out of bounds. But yeah, now you know what's happening with the McFlurries. Now you know.